Hi students, this video will introduce you to project three. So I'm going to jump right in. What you see on your screen right now is the instructor view of our learn site. So I can see project three right now, even though it is not currently available to you. Um, when it is available to you, you'll be able to click on it. And in the first of our modules, which comprises the three weeks that include the assignments release, um, you will see the prompt for the assignment. Um, my view looks different from, from your view, but I can't go to student view right now because it's not available to you. Um, now, this is the video that I'm recording right now. This item will change when I'm done with this video, but what I wanna show you in this video is the prompt for your next assignment. Your next assignment is a proposal document with accompanying multimodal, preferably or most likely video presentation. Um, so you're going to do two things. You're going to write a report, a proposal report, that's this first item, one five-page PDF document, which is a formal proposal. Um, you will also create a video of five minutes in length. That's the proposal presentation. Um, you're also going to write your project reflection, and we've talked about that for the previous two assignments. You should hopefully all be familiar with what that means by now. And you're also going to compose the reflections on the learning outcomes. That's also not new for this assignment. So this assignment uh, requires that you write a research-based proposal of five pages in length um, to a carefully selected audience of decision makers. The proposal will, to paraphrase your book's author, describe a new project or initiative that your target audience and community needs. It will offer a new strategy to attend to a problem or issue or create a new service or recommend changes uh, to existing methods and procedures. You're going to craft a proposal with one of these approaches. So I'm not going to read through this whole assignment to you because you can um, read it yourself, but you need to carefully hone in on a problem that exists either in Albuquerque or at UNM. You need to select the audience to whom you want to address this proposal, and it can't just be citizens of Albuquerque. Um, at UNM, it might be the chair of a certain department, the president of the university, the director of athletics. Um, you need to hone in on a particular person or a small group of people that could make a decision. In Albuquerque, depending on what problem you chose, it could be the mayor, it could be um, the uh, superintendent of schools, you would need to do some research on who actually could help make a change into the problem that you've selected. So again, once you read through this assignment, you'll see more details about what has to be included in the document itself. This document, this proposal is research based. So not only do you have to do a lot of research and clearly argue your case about the need for the solution, how much the solution would cost, how long it would take, um, but you have to design your document in such a way that that information is easy to detect. So that means using excellent document design strategies, using images and graphics when you need them. You have to include at least four images and you have to include five research sources. So be sure that you read this prompt carefully so that you see those details. Now you also need to include a, a video or other multimodal modal presentation. So uh, most students, when they do this project, they generally create a slideshow. Um, you can do that in PowerPoint. If you choose a slideshow, it has to be at least 10 slides long, and it shouldn't be exclusively text-based. Um, lots of text on a slide is not very readable or usable. You should be using images, you should be using animation, you should be using embedded video, you should be using all kinds of things that would really appeal to an audience where you showing this presentation in real time, like in a boardroom or a conference room, to actual stakeholders. You need to design your slides intelligently and you need to do a uh, well-rehearsed voiceover. Now, you need to prepare this presentation so that you can share it with me with the voiceover running. And so you should save this as a YouTube video once you've finished creating it and share with me merely the link to the YouTube video. Don't send me the PowerPoint file that I have to click through every um, slide and click to hear the audio. That's not very usable for me. Now you don't have to do a slideshow. You could do a Prezi, uh, you could create a website or a blog. You can do something else if you want to, if you think that another modality other than 
a narrated PowerPoint would be the appropriate one for your audience. It depends on who your audience is and what your problem is that you're uh, intervening into. Those are the two big requirements for this assignment. But of course, you also have to do the slow reflections and the project reflection. In this assignment, there's a bit of an example about a proposal you might have made in your personal life. Um, it just kind of in a friendly way gives you um, some information about how you have made proposals in your life. Maybe you knew it and maybe you didn't. Um, then if you scroll further down in the document, I talk a little bit about the project reflections just to reiterate what you need to do there and uh, what you need to do in the slow reflections. And then finally on the last page is the rubric. As with the previous two assignments, the rubric that I actually give back to you um, is in an Excel spreadsheet and it doesn't look quite like this, but all the values are the same. Now I want to show you two issues, one related to the university and one related um, to our local community in Albuquerque that would be ones that I might want to write a proposal about how to correct, solve, intervene into, or improve. So the first one concerns the university seal. This was a subject in your last assignment that you could have chosen. And the, the issue right now, um, this date is November 2016, so it's been a while, but the university seal remains the same, despite the fact that lots of people are still concerned about it, that it doesn't represent um, our current culture at University of New Mexico. So this is an interesting article about why the seal remains the same. This would be a good research source. Um, here's an image of the seal. As I showed in the last assignment, this is a frontiersman and a conquistador. Um, and this iconography tells a certain story about University of New Mexico's history and power relations that some people might not agree with. So if you were part of a, a group at the university that didn't like the persistence of the seal, you might propose a solution to the problem. Um, so that's one uh, scenario that I thought might be good to share with you guys because it concerns something pretty uh, specific at the University of New Mexico that a proposal could be written about. Now this other one concerns Albuquerque and it concerns um, homelessness in downtown Albuquerque. So within specific geographical boundaries, uh, the location of downtown, business owners have proposed a plan to address homelessness. So this page um, that I've pulled up from KOAT has a video about um, the plan with some downtown business owners speaking. And it gives a lot of details about the number of business owners, uh, who their audience was, for their proposal and some of the details about the proposal. So this is another issue in our community, homelessness. And um, oops, I clicked downtown business. start there, sorry about that. Um, and you might pull up these resources yourself and look at these as examples um, of issues that one might propose a solution to. So I hope this video has helped you understand this assignment a little bit more. And if along the way you have any questions, of course, as always, please reach out to me and let me know.